Ladies and gentlemen, thank you all for being here today. It, we are looking at CKB Nervous Network on the 12-hour chart. It's April 13th, 2021, 11.21 a.m. Central Time. Let's go. But before we get started, I just want to go ahead and thank you all for watching these videos. If they help you, feel free to subscribe. It's free. If you like Nervous Network or the video, hit the like button. I truly appreciate all the support just from that. Now, if you're holding some of these cryptos that I talk about, it might even be worthwhile to click the bell notification button. That way you'll get notified. And if the video pertains to some of your holdings, you may want to investigate the video and see what's going on real time. We are in a squeeze on Nervous Network. Man, and this has been killing everybody, literally, for the last week or so. Now, I think this thing really started trading sideways around April 7th, sometime right in there. And folks, a week in this world, while well, all these other cryptos are just having a heyday, uh, it, it seems like an eternity. So let's kind of break down CKB and some other things that I've seen on Twitter, things like that. Uh, but we will start off with the RSI. It's sitting at 47 and a half. Now that's a great position for the RSI to be in for future impulses. Uh, we have a lot of room to run up to the 80s, 85s, uh, that sort of thing. So we are sitting very good in that respect the macd we've been selling off since march 31st and, and we can definitely see that some of the heaviest selling could be over and some of this pink lighter selling is definitely where we started trading sideways now uh, you can definitely see some similarities back in uh, mid-february when this thing sold off and reconsolidated uh, one thing you might notice is this little spike here that was caused by the Voyager app here in the USA when the CKB uh, was added to, uh, to that app and people were now able to buy this in the USA. Uh, furthermore, I have seen some chatter now how Russian influencers have been kind of pumping CKB. So it is good that uh, the word is getting out uh, to all these countries. I think a lot of people in the USA just aren't aware that CKB exists in the first place. Furthermore, I, I don't think that nobody even, uh, not too many people have have, uh, have a clear understanding of what it is that they do. I'm not going to get into that right now because we're discussing TA on this 12-hour chart. Uh, so what do we have going for us? Well, we are trading into the Ichimoku cloud. Uh, the conversion lines under the baseline we are bouncing off the 50. now i want to go back in time here and look at a similar setup and this was another instance of a squeeze you can see the conversion line is uh is south of the baseline and we started to trade into the cloud just like we did here you can see this arch happen just like it did here a lot of times Patterns in stocks and crypto will end up repeating themselves. I'm not saying it's going to here. I'm just pointing out some similarities. So we would all like to see CKB kind of cup and handle come up and test this four and a half cent mark again. And look at what happened here. So it came up and tested this mark again. If we get some... Uh, maybe a wedge formation or an ascending triangle to form the handle, we will be sitting good, in my opinion. I think uh, we will have some room to run. At that point, we will be sitting around the four and a half cent level. Everybody wants to see that five cent, excuse me, wow, five cent level. Uh, you know, we'll get into some of the potential uh, dollar points here in a second. Uh, this is what I'm hoping is going to happen. Now we're going to get rid of some of these markings. And let's go ahead and throw down some Fibonacci time zone. 
Now, like I have been saying, we may or may not see some action around 7 a.m. April 14th. And this would be great to see some bullish action out of this and see this thing maybe form this cup. Uh, April 21st, we may see the top. Uh, so that would be excellent to see this play out just like this. Beware, we could see this thing trade sideways again for another week or two, but I don't know. This could technically be a new high or a new low as well. Uh, so we may trade sideways for, you know, a week or so and, and create a bull pennant or a bull flag or, uh, you know, the handle for this cup, which is what we really need. Uh, we may see a launch point uh, from here up. Again, folks, this is wild speculation. This isn't uh, financial or technical advice. Uh, let's get into some of the potential price points. I'm going to go ahead and clear this chart, folks. There we go. Now let's look at some Fibonacci extensions. And, and beautifully enough, you can definitely see, so this is the 100% mark because it is our highest point, swing high point right now. But I want to just show you guys something. We have come to rest on the 61.8%. In Fibonacci, this is huge. Uh, so I'm hoping we don't drop down to this 50% level. Uh, I think we would have already retraced to that level uh, had we, uh, you know, at, at this point already. Uh, you can definitely see, uh, you know, I would hate for us to drift down to this 24 uh, or this even uh, two cent level. It definitely could happen. I think at this point in the game, we are resting comfortably on the 61.8 level. Let's take a peek at some of these other levels, shall we? Uh, so I would ideally like to see uh, maybe CKB come up and at least hit almost the seven cent mark in this next run. If we really get cooking, uh, possibly the eight and a half cent run, I, I just, we would have to have a very healthy launch from this four and a half cent mark to get there. Uh, I, I think at this point, six and a half, seven cents uh, would be more realistic uh, for the next impulse wave if it happens. Now we just have to play the waiting game, which nobody likes to do, uh, to see which way we go. If we start trading, I'm going to start and play the bearish scenario here, so hate on me. Now if we continue further retracement, which could definitely be a possibility, uh, and we trade below the cloud, you better bet your butt we're going to see this. Uh, two and a half cent mark level. Ideally, we may see uh, a two cent uh, retracement if we lose our ground here. CKB, I think, has a lot going for it at the moment. Uh, so I'm optimistic. It's so new that that I think we'll we will go bullish from here. Uh, but we never know until until uh, the 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 new trend. Uh, you know, asserts itself. So if you guys enjoyed this technical analysis on CKB, uh, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't done so, done so already. Uh, I truly appreciate all of you uh, leaving some great comments. Uh, it seems like CKB is a great community. Uh, full disclosure, you know, I'm holding about 165,000 CKB uh, coins. So uh, I'm definitely hoping that we continue an uptrend here, uh, but only time will tell, and I think we should have some better information and, and, uh, and understanding of the direction this thing is going to go uh, tomorrow morning, hopefully. So I wish you guys all a great day. If you are still with me here, drop in the comments 
if you have any other uh, coins you want me to talk about. Until next time, we'll see you later.